The performance for statewide's investment offerings over 2017 was strong. Double digit returns for my super, Australian shares, international shares, the higher growth options, single digit returns for the uh, lower risk options. In fact, returns were very strong for 2017, one of the better years for the super industry. As you know, we don't particularly like uh, doing forecasts for one year. We think uh, one year returns are a lot noisier. But if anything, given the very recent strong returns in 2017, 2018 should be a bit more muted. In terms of the three to five year returns, where we have a bit more conviction, we think we'll see returns a lot lower than they were over the previous five years. It'd be very hard to sustain that double digit return. So going, moving forward, we wouldn't be surprised if we see lower returns from here. So the investment performance for statewide super across many of the options compared to our peers has been in the first quarter or second quarter. We think there are a number of reasons that's driven that outperformance. One, our size allows us to get into niche strategies that the larger funds cannot exploit. Two, we're large enough to have the resources to negotiate really good fees to get appropriate terms. And therefore, if you get good terms, lower fees, you get better outcomes for members. And three, the team has been together now for a long time. We've been using um, our asset consultant for a long time. We have an investment committee, which is um, the, the chair of the investment committee sits on the board, David Holston, who's at Korea at Jana. We've put on an independent investment committee, Sandy Oilier. We have a very seasoned team, and that structure seems to be working really well at the moment. State election coming up in March is a three horse race, which is very unusual, and so it's very hard to see who will win that election. Nonetheless, the South Australian economy is doing very well. 2017 was a good year in terms of growth, in terms of employment growth and reducing the unemployment rate. Let's hope that continues into 2018. There's good momentum, the, the world is growing nicely. We, are, we have services and sectors here that we can export. Uh, internally, there's consumption, there's better confidence coming through. So South Australia should continue to do fine. We get a lot of questions recently about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Suffice to say, we're very wary of it. Something that's gone from less than a dollar many years ago to uh, as high as 19,000 US. I think it's back down to 11, trades up 10, 20% movements. Uh, it seems to be a very speculative driven uh, uh, investment. Uh, we, we are wary of it and we would advise people to be careful when playing in this area. The advice in this video is general advice only. It may not be appropriate for you and we recommend you obtain independent financial advice and consider the applicable PDS before making an investment decision.